Today we are in Lady Lake and we're gonna try Caraba's Italian Grill. It's packed. It is very packed. We might be trying Caraba's Italian Grill. I've never been there. You've never been there. Mm -hmm. I've heard though they have like the best chicken Caesar salad. So we wanna test that theory. I think we'll probably still get something else too. I, I don't think we'll just get the salad, but I definitely wanna order the chicken Caesar salad to see how good it is, to see if it's truly one of the best salads ever. I like the Texas Roadhouse Caesar salad. Yeah, they're good too. So I don't know, we'll see. Well, guess what? Let's go check it out. And here's what we mean by it being packed out. We're parking basically at Michael's. It's a target over there in the distance. There are a ton of cars over here. So hopefully the wait won't be long. I'm trying to see if anybody's congregating in the front. Kind of maybe looks like there's some people standing outside. I don't know. We'll just play this one by ear and see if uh, it's a long wait or not. Looks like the A is currently out on their sign and it looks like there's some people standing outside we'll go try to get the hours and see how long of a wait it truly is here are the hours 11 to 9 monday through thursday friday saturday 11 to 10 sunday 11 to 9 all right i don't know if we'll be able to get seated right away or not but this is actually really nice in here i've never five to fifteen that's not bad at all they are decorated for christmas in here so it does look really really nice here's another view of what it looks like in here they've got the kitchen in the back and then over here they have a bar and then in the corner over back that way are the restrooms so that took about i don't know 20-ish minutes to get seated so not bad i can show you more of a restaurant as we're walking here and i'm not sure where we'll be looks like oh over here in this far corner hi thank you right over here it's very crowded in here so like behind me over that way is where the restroom is but it is packed here's a look at the menu all right what do we got here specialty cocktails sangria ooh blackberry peach and if we open this up, salads. There's the Caesar salad. We're going to have to give that a try for sure. Soups, sides, appetizers, pasta. Wonder if it says anything about oh, gluten friendly, gluten free, right there. Caesar salads are gluten-free without croutons. Mm -hmm. Then over here we have trios, specialties, steaks and chops, seafood, and then on this page are the wines. Got some beverages, premium flavored lemonades, flavored iced tea of the day. We will have to ask about that. Desserts, chocolate dream. It's like a little rewards program thing and I think that's it. Wow, there's a lot going on here. So I'm not sure what we're gonna get. Some form of Caesar salad. Oh, side salad. There is a Caesar side salad. So we might we might try that just to, just to give it a taste. Whoa, what are you doing? You're throwing us for a curveball here. I'm gonna do a pomegranate martini. I feel like it's festive. Wow, okay. Right here, pomegranate martini. I'm gonna maybe see what the flavored tea is, but... Oh, look, though. Sangria Rita. Blackberry Sangria. With tequila. Oh, man. I don't know what to do. That just looks good by itself, too. So does the peach one though. So the pasta can be gluten-free. I believe the chicken Caesar salad they were referring to was this, 
but I don't really want to spend just like $17 on a chicken Caesar salad. So I think we're just gonna get the side, where's it at here? Oh, right there. The Caesar side salad, cause it's gonna be pretty much the same. And then I think we're gonna get a gluten-free pasta dish. The classics combination appetizer. That looks really good too. Reading more about the gluten-free pasta, I think we're gonna ask because I think maybe they just have certain options that come with it. So we're gonna ask and see what that's like. So I asked which was better between the blackberry and the peach and she said the peach is sweeter. So I went with the peach. And then as far as the gluten-free pasta, they have like one form of pasta, but then you can choose what sauce you want with that pasta. Looking at the sauces, there's a spicy marinara. There's a tomato cream goat cheese tomato cream, tomato vodka cream sauce, white wine cream sauce, uh, white wine lemon butter sauce. I think I got the majority of them there. All right, we're gonna go with uh, gluten-free pasta with the tomato vodka cream sauce. And then they're gonna bring out some rolls, which is kind of funny because gluten-free and then rolls, but I will gladly eat the rolls. You might take a bite though. And then they've got a little oil on the table too. The Parmesan truffle fries sound amazing. And so does the garlic mashed potatoes. You do get the seasoning in that you can mix the oil with. And then here is the bread or the rolls. Let's see what they look like. Oh, they are wrapped in there good. Oh wow, it's actually a little bread slices. It smells amazing. I can smell it already. First bite. <laughs> is it is it good or are you just starving? It's good? I know you're a big fan. I like the oil and seasoning. I'm gonna give it a try. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's good bread. Really soft bread, a little bit of a crunchy crust. That's good. I love how they have the fettuccine Alfredo as a side item, and I might actually get that to see what their Alfredo sauce is like and what their fettuccine is like. And it'll just be a smaller portion anyway. Sorry if I showed the uh, menu a lot. It took quite a while to order. Now that's just due to how crowded it actually has been in here. I just went to the restroom and I walked past all of it, everybody, and it is extremely busy tonight so just for heads up just be prepared for it to be crowded if you come like on a friday night so far the bread thumbs up for sure it's very good here is the peach sangria and there's the what'd you get the pomegranate martini we're gonna give these a try all right here we go oh yeah that's tasty it's not super strong that's good how's yours I'm gonna try the little less. Oh, it's full. It's very, it's very full. Yeah, that's tasty. Give mine a try. Mine's better. Oh, see, I like mine better, but yours is definitely more powerful, like with flavor. It's not like lunch juice. Yeah. Here is the Caesar salad. Again, it's a small scale Caesar salad, but it does look like a very good Caesar salad. You're gonna compare it to Texas Roadhouse, I bet. That's, my favorite. That's your favorite? <laughs> Is that a good Caesar salad? Would you say it's better than Texas Roadhouse? The same? Really? So it is good. Okay, good to know. It has kind of calmed down in here now. There's not as many people. It's a little bit more quiet. So sorry if you couldn't hear us earlier because it was very, very loud. But I'm gonna try the Caesar salad. It definitely resembles Texas Roadhouse. So I would say that is a good Caesar salad. So the person that said, get the chicken Caesar salad, because um, it's the best they've ever had. I would say it's probably up there. You get the full portion of the chicken Caesar it's salad. A different flavor than Texas Roadhouse, it is a different flavor than Texas Roadhouse, but it's still good. Um, like the cheese and stuff remind me of it. 
but again, $17 for a chicken Caesar salad if you get the full one. And this doesn't have chicken in it, it's just a side salad, but that's a lot of money. So it better be a stinking good chicken Caesar salad for $17. But the side salad is very good Caesar salad. When you get a piece that's got all that cheese and dressing on it, yeah, kind of like that. It is very good. I'm gonna say that's a very good Caesar salad. That was very good. That is up there with one of the best Caesar salads we've ever had. Very, very good. All right, we got the food. So here's the side of fettuccine Alfredo. The Alfredo looks very good. Do I think that portion is worth $6? No, but I do it's think- nice that they offer it though. It is, they yes. I really am glad they do, but it does look like very good fettuccine Alfredo. And then here's the gluten-free pasta with the, what is it, tomato vodka sauce. I've never seen noodles like this. <laughs> I hope they're good. I will say their cheese is very good. Let's give it all a try. How are the gluten-free noodles? The sauce is very good. Gluten-free noodles are okay. That's, I feel like it's mostly going to be the case with gluten-free noodles. Yeah. They're not going to be as good as regular noodles. But for a gluten-free noodle, knowing that they're not as good, is it a pretty decent gluten-free noodle? Chewy or? No, it's more like, uh, like disintegrates kind of. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. Well, we have a big bowl, but the sauce is great? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try the sauce with some bread first because I like dipping my bread in the sauce. All right, here we go. That sauce is very good. I'm gonna dip some more bread in the Alfredo sauce now. Here is the Alfredo sauce. Oh man. That's very good Alfredo sauce. Very, very good Alfredo sauce. Here is a try of the gluten-free. That sauce is amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's not gonna be as good as just regular noodles, but it's, it's not a bad taste. No, 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 the flavor's not bad. The flavor's good. Now let me try the fettuccine, which I think is gonna be like excellent. Here it is. That is stinking good fettuccine. Very, very good fettuccine Alfredo. Very good. So as I've been eating it more, I think my first noodle I just grabbed off the top so it's a little bit colder. Um, so it's like a little bit more um, like crunchy. <laughs> crunchy, I, yeah. But the ones that are warmer at the bottom are very good. Oh wow. I actually really like it. Oh good. I mean you have to try this fettuccine though. It's it's some of the best I've had. I knew it would be very good. It's like gourmet fettuccine. It's It's good. I think I like this sauce better though. The sauce? Huh. Would you say that's stinking good sauce? Mm -hmm. Would you? Interesting. Both are very very good. One thing to make note of, portion sizes are massive. At least with this anyway. It's easy to share between two people after you eat bread and everything else all right i finished the fettuccine alfredo it was very good i don't know if we'll be able to finish this do you think so we'll have to get a box for that because getting pretty full on that and then we did finish the bread we are going to skip the desserts today we are pretty full we have never seen a cherry this dark in our entire life is it a different style of cherry maybe i would imagine i don't know I try it <laughs> Does it taste the same? Was it a different type? I think so. Oh, tasted the same? Or no? I don't know. <laughs> Is it weirding you out? <laughs> I haven't had a maraschino cherry in like forever, so it tasted real sweet. Huh. Here is how much it costs. It costs Forty-five dollars. Not bad for two drinks. Two drinks. I mean, the drinks are what really. Could have been like thirty dollars. Right. I guess I thought my drink was eight ninety-nine, and it says twelve sixty-nine. I don't remember what the menu said. Oh, the size is oh, so she must have given me the large size. Forty-five dollars and sixty-five cents. All right, we're heading back outside, and you can see it's not near as loud or near the crowd level as it was when we first came in. All right, that was our trip out to the villages to Carabas Italian Grill. Whew, I just need a minute. It was busy, we had to wait a while. 
So just so you know, it's a Friday. We got in around 6.45. It's 8, 8.17. So over an hour and a half. Part of that had to do with, a, I would say, probably a good 15 minute wait at least. Mm -hmm. And then it did take a long time, but it was very, very crowded. So yeah, I, I mean, they were all working as fast yeah. as they could. It was just busy. I don't think it was an instance <laughs> like, I don't know, like a Johnny Rockets to where they just... <laughs> Johnny Rockets. <laughs> Johnny Rockets will live in infamy. <laughs> <laughs> to where they uh, just like didn't wait on us. It was, mm -hmm. they were working hard. It yeah. was just extremely packed. Um, as far as the Caesar salad, it was a good Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. Very, very good Caesar salad. Um, if you don't want pasta, I would definitely recommend getting the full chicken Caesar salad, although it is a very pricey at $17. I'm sure it's That's filling, though, with chicken. Yeah. It's like a, I think it's a fairly full like chicken breast. Yeah, I think so, too. Um, the fettuccine was very good. I was glad that I got to try it. I really, really loved it. And then the sauce on the regular like gluten-free pasta was very good as well. Mm -hmm. Gluten-free pasta typically isn't as good as regular pasta, so you can't fault them on that. But overall, it was, it a, was good a good option. Yeah. yeah, I would order it again. And the bread was good. Yeah, bread was very good. Yeah, yeah, with the dipping sauce. I would like to try dessert sometime. It looks like they have very, very good dessert. Um, we will do a video sometime at Olive Garden, just in case for those that never been to Olive Garden, and then kind of compare the two. It's kind of hard to compare one after just eating at one. Uh, but they do not give you mints at the end, which is kind oh, of a bummer. That's true. The sangria. Have, oh, sorry. I, go oh, ahead. I have an opinion on this versus Olive Garden. Should we wait until after Olive Garden, or just go ahead and say it now? Say it now, and then we can say one after I Olive Garden. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to be somebody to just kind of leave it hanging. Um, I do feel like this maybe is like they offer more unique dishes here that maybe aren't like just a standard Italian. True. And it did feel a little bit more. Um, I kept using the word gourmet-ish. Yeah, sure. Gourmet-ish. <laughs> <laughs> gourmet-ish. A little bit higher quality. I don't it know. Did. What, was, what did you like then? I like Olive Garden. Don't get me wrong. Do you like this one better than Olive Garden? Um, It's just a price thing. Like, you're obviously going to get different what you pay for. Yeah. You know. I think for me overall, I probably... Uh, that's tough. I like this better, I think. See, I like Olive Garden's soup and salad that you can always get. Oh, yeah. And then I also like their mints. Yep. But if you're just comparing like fettuccine from Olive Garden to this fettuccine, this fettuccine wins. They're both oh, they're good both options. Good. Yeah, both good options. I was going to say, mm -hmm. if you don't want to get charged almost the $13 for a drink, I guess specify that you want the smaller sangria, which is only $8.99. However, it was very good. I'm not complaining. I'm not mad about it. No other than like paying more. <laughs> it was good. And then you really liked your drink too. Mm -hmm. With good. a very weird cherry. If you know what kind of cherry that is, let if let us know. We have we know nothing. I think it was maybe soaked cherries. in. I think it was just a maraschino cherry, maybe like soaked in something. Oh. Would be my guess. Let us know. I think that does it for tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm actually decently full. Like, I didn't want to stuff myself, so I'm at a good level right now. It's probably good you just had like that portion of the regular yeah. pasta. Yeah, I agree. With that being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.